quite something. The yeah. resurrection of Tupac Shakur as a hologram last week, generating excitement far beyond the music world. This is using technology based on a system first developed in the 18th century as a stage illusion called Pepper's Ghost. Patrick Tessier is a visual effects consultant and also production manager with Musion Canada. He joins us to talk about this. Patrick, first, your reaction when you saw uh, Tupac appearing as that hologram, what, what did you say to yourself? The editing job was uh, magic and they did a crazy job on this holographic uh, displays. How does this work? It's a special uh, paper ghost that we develop with Musion uh, World and uh, it's a projection uh, exactly like they done in the uh, decades ago. Uh, it's a projection done uh, with the combinations of uh, many factors. So it's a super thin foil that we're projecting on and this foil is actually have properties. So those properties is super thin, invisible, and actually grab the colors and reboost the color without blurring outside. So that's why we can have the illusions of a human huh. being on stage. And we can fool the audience. If we want to do magic trick, we, we need to use this foil. So absolutely. So what kind so of this technology is yeah. used. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. This technology is used in show business for many usage. Uh, in museum, advertising campaign, uh, launching, launching of product, displays, and uh, teleconferencing live with holograms. It really is incredible to witness something like this, you know, someone who's gone reappearing. And the big deal is, is you can control this animation, as it were, right? It's not, a re it's not playing something that's previously recorded. Absolutely, yeah. There's many ways to actually edit those. We can start from scratch do animated character, but uh, it's really hard to reproduce the skins, the density of the skins, opacity of the skins, and the color of the skins. So if we want to fool the audience so they can believe that's really a human being, uh, we're working with this technology to reboost and uh, have the opacity of the skins. So if we start uh, from scratch, that's one thing. If we go in studio, we have to record this with a special technique that we developed with Musion World in 35 countries. And especially here in Canada, we develop a special way uh, to capture those holograms with the 3D deepness and the lights and, yeah. uh, and the magic. S Sir, where do yeah. you see this going? Uh, can you envision Michael Jackson going on tour again? Um, I signed the NDA agreement like this, so I can't actually reveal uh, everything's going to happen, but everything's going to change. In the, nec the next three years, uh, holograms displays will be just amazing. And that's for sure that teleconferencing is the next move, the next big thing. We are able right now to do conferencings in many countries live with no visible delays. So mm -hmm. you can appear in 10 countries at the same time and interact with the crowd, having a camera there pointing the audience. So people can interact and play, answer question real time in holograms. Hmm. Wow. So that, that's the next generation. In show business, we will see a lot of future things, flexible, flexibility of the screens, invisibility of the screens. And the next step, is for sure, is to get rid of the screens, like in Star Wars and Star Trek. <laughs> so that's the next big, <laughs> next big step. It's already here. We are building prototypes, amazing prototypes, right now. And the technology is there. The fiber optic is in every home right now. We work with Celine Dion and Moment Factory Innovative uh, and Visions uh, to do Celine Dion in Vegas. We're gonna and be uh, we've done... We're going to be standing by for all of this that you've outlined, and we're certainly intrigued. Uh, Patrick Tessé joining us. He's a visual effects consultant Thanks. and production manager with Musion Canada. Thanks for this. No problem. Pleasure.